Happy New Year to those of you who um, have already turned the calendar into the new year, uh, and certainly the rest of us will be following uh, soon. Um, but the Lord has been putting together uh, a message as we enter into the new year uh, over the last number of days, and um, he's, he's kind of brought some things together for me. Um, the word that he would speak to us as we enter into the new year is that he is ordering our steps. The Lord is putting things in order in our lives if we allow him to do this. Um, and, and this order is coming uh, uh, in rapid progression. There is a sequence uh, to our footsteps. Um, two or three mornings ago, um, I woke up at 3.33 in the morning, uh, turned over, went back to sleep, woke up again, looked at the clock, and it was 4.44. So I thought that was unusual, and I, I noted that. Uh, and then uh, the next morning, uh, as I was uh, starting my day, I looked at the clock. I, my, I was just drawn to the clock, uh, and it was 5.55. So I was very aware that there was a progression uh, to the numbers. Uh, we've all seen numbers and been aware of numbers and, and pressed into, Lord, what are you speaking? Um, but this was the first time that things had come in or numbers had come in rapid progression. Um, so I, I felt that the Lord is clearly saying that that he is ordering or putting our footsteps into order uh, as we enter into the new year. Uh, a previous message was that he is uh, bringing course correction to us, and that's that's all part of it as well. Um, Psalm 37, 23 says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Now, the word to put in order or to order uh, means there's a particular sequence or pattern or arrangement. Uh, so there is a sequence uh, to our steps, a proper sequence. Um, and then uh, the rapid progression because of the, the, the rapid numbers uh, that I saw in succession. Proverbs 16, 9 says, the mind of a man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Uh, look for uh, not only uh, rapid succession uh, and course correction, uh, but but dreams are significant uh, right now. They're always significant. But uh, when I start dreaming, uh, particularly in the month of December, uh, I generally, uh, I, I know the Lord is pointing out things that I'm to carry forward or know about uh, the year to come. And there have been a couple of dreams uh, uh, about people. Um, and so note who the Lord is uh, keeping on your path with you, or perhaps those that he might be uh, removing from your path. Uh, in one of my dreams, uh, my husband and I were in a car, and we came up beside the car of another couple that we knew from church, a precious couple, uh, one that we haven't been very, uh, very much involved with, uh, but we certainly know them. But I felt such great, compassionate love for them. Uh, and I knew the Lord was showing me that, that he was in this coming year bringing us into closer relationship uh, with this couple. And then just a couple of nights ago, I dreamed that I was on a bus and um, it was kind of an open air bus like you would see on a safari. Uh, in fact, animals kept trying to get on the bus. Uh, a dog jumped through the window and I had to, to toss it out. And, and I love dogs, but I knew that, that it didn't belong there. Uh, and then another animal was poking its head through the window and trying to, uh, trying to lick me. And I, I, I knew again that, that that didn't belong. And then at one point I was outside temporarily of the bus. Us. And there was a young woman that was overcome by demons, uh, and I had to command the the, the spirits to um, uh, to come out of her uh, and and uh, take 
take control or command of that situation. So the next morning, and this is just this past week, uh, I certainly was pressing into the Lord uh, for the meaning of this. And he quickened two scriptures uh, that are very telling. One was Isaiah 35, and uh, I would encourage you to read the whole chapter, uh, Isaiah 35, but contained in that is the highway of holiness. And Isaiah 35 says, the unclean will not travel on it, and fools will not wander on it. No lion will be there, nor will any vicious beast go up on it. And then the next day, the Lord quickened Revelation 22, 14 and 15. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying. So we see the Lord is making a clear separation. We've talked about that before between those who, who do serve him and walk that highway of holiness uh, and separation, uh, who don't practice lying, who uh, don't, don't, don't uh, live in impurity of any kind. Um, there's a separation at this time. So we want to make sure that we're on the path uh, the road, the, the road, the path the Lord has for us in this day uh, with every confidence uh, and knowledge that as we enter into um, this new year, He is ordering our steps. He is putting things into their proper order in our lives. So rejoice in that. Press into it. Be quick to obey uh, and quick to praise Him. Happy New Year in Jesus' name.